Hi guys, Dibley here. This is uh, part 7 of my uh, Prison Architect series. Uh, today we're going to have a look at contraband and uh, ways of one of the ways of dealing with contraband which is introduced in Alpha 24 which is the confidential informants. So um, I thought my prison was working pretty well. I, uh, I had about making a healthy profit on, on a daily basis and um, I've got people in, uh, prisoners in the reforms and stuff like that. Generally everything's going on. Um, I think the, uh, the, the, sorry, the needs are not too bad apart from clothing. Just can't, just can't seem to keep up on that. But that's neither here nor there. Everything else is, is fairly good. Um, and then um, I clicked uh, yesterday on the contraband and I had a look on my last seven days and I thought this is quite a lot. So I had to start having a look at what I can do to try and stop this. Now, um, as I'm sure most of you are f familiar who've um, used the contraband window, you can, if you mouse over uh, one of the items of contraband, you can see how it got into the prison. So for instance, uh, Felix Kenway has uh, managed to arrange for some, some drugs to be thrown over the wall. Um, and then uh, there's another thrown there and this was smug these drugs were smuggled in through the visitation probably by a friend or a you know a family member so because of the throne um, I found out that the uh, throne area is up to 10 squares so uh, I've changed a lot of my design to try and stop there being any open parts um, so that that one uh, where was it one of these ones over here so it was thrown to here which is easily 10 squares in but I, I need to make more of this un, more of this enclosed I think so that it can't be thrown you know they, they can't throw it in there I had to uh, add a you can't can't see but I've put a, a fence all the way around now because I, I kept getting stuff thrown into here I don't know if one of these might turn out to be thrown over there no uh, can't find it how was that that was uh, that was yeah so I've tried to do that. Um, I was also I had a passageway up here, so we extended this. So hopefully they can't throw it in there. But I'm still seeing for some reason I'm still getting thrown uh, contraband thrown into this area. So hopefully it will sort of clear up as we go along. Yes, good, good lot there. <laughs> like this this guy's had absolute field day. He must be the uh, scrounger of the prison. Anyway, then um, so the other issues um, we've got is is uh, the, the contraband that's coming in through the front door basically so what I've done to try and stop this is um, I've I've now got dog patrols in the deliveries area so when stuff come when stuff comes in from the trucks or when um, when visitors come hopefully the dogs will sniff the drugs we've got the metal detectors anyway so the metal detectors should hopefully hopefully find any tools and and uh, metallic objects so it's just a case of trying to trying to catch the um, catch the drugs and, and anything that's not not can't be detected by the metal detectors so hopefully we're trying to stop stop more stuff from coming in so the next job is to try and find some of the contraband that's already in obviously we're a you know we're quite aware of uh, these bits but there's probably more so one of the new features that Alpha 24 brought us was confidential informers. So I thought, right, okay, let's have a go at doing this. Now, watching the video by Introvision, um, you can see that you can you can hire uh, can hire sorry you can recruit confidential informers um, ge generally when they're sort of under duress. So they they might be in the um, you know in the hold uh, in the oh god what are they called? The solitary cells, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so what, what I did is I then went on the old uh, contraband and the informants and, and I wasn't getting any potential um, contra, uh, co confidential informants showing up and I didn't understand why and it, it took me a while to realise the problem was in my policy most of my for most of the uh, you know discretion uh, indiscretions they were only like half an hour or two hours or something like that and you know and it was it was really minor sort of stuff so what I've done is I've ramped up um, what happens so uh, we find weapons you know, eight hours in solitary um, finding drugs eight hours in solitary and now I've I've started to get some potential confidential informers so if we take this guy if he doesn't get released in a minute let's have a look and see what what he might be if he's any good so 
he's um, in solitary he's got two hours left so he might be all right so um, Dan Patton let's have a look and see if we can get him so go to the experience and we can recruit the informants so he will now uh, we've rec recruiting him and he will be let out of there and he'll be able to go off back to his cell um, and we can call on his services at some point because uh, you know we've 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 given him a, a soft ride as such so if I go to uh, if I go to the contraband now and look at my confidential informants you'll see I've got Dan Patton now he's got a little bit of suspicion at the moment but he's he's not really doing anything so we'll leave him going what I probably should have done is is checked whether uh, how long oops how long he's been he's he's in here he's in for 38 years and he's been here 16 and a half he's served 16 and a half years so that's that's fantastic because he should know quite a bit about what's going on um, in the prison with any luck so hopefully he can he can give us some uh, some interesting information so uh, we still on him we're still on him so if we click on him again um, back to uh, I don't know if I don't know how much we're going to actually get out of him or did it say back on the on the contraband oh for goodness sake uh, so he's oh he's only got 8% coverage he's actually not very good to be fair because he's only got 8% coverage I'm surprised I was hoping he'd, he'd have a little bit more well what we'll do when when it gets round to daytime um, we'll we'll switch him on uh, so let's just run it round a bit faster get the time going um, and we'll we'll get called into the security office and we'll see what we can get out of him see if he can give us any any clues um, actually it's taken a while we'll um we'll, we'll crack on and um, and get him now I think so we're going to activate him so whoa I'm not meaning to do that <laughs> so I must have clicked through and <laughs> clicked into that bit I didn't want that so um, I'm surprised his suspicion hasn't gone up a little bit to be fair so let's have a look so the guards come and picking him up so we're running on high speed oops auto saving so he's gonna come down and he's gonna be oh we've got another potential CI there so he's now in in here so what we should do now is um, oh is he already exposed something there he's already exposed now he's in there he's exposed some drugs and a spoon is there anything else what we've got over here we've got here we've got a spoon not particularly worried about that oh what's this guy here got so this guy here has got some medicine and some tools so I think what we'll do is we will if I can click on that and find out who that is so uh, not sure whether I can. Do you know what? I now don't know how I how, <laughs> how I have to do that. We really need to find who the guy is who's got who's got that. So how do we go in there? We need to do we need to get a, a guard? Oh, he's, this guy is released. <laughs> Not very often you see that, but there's a uh, guy who's released. So let's see if we can find the staff. Oh, I need to go back to contraband because I cannot see where it is. So one, two, three, four. So it's four, four cells up. So let's see if we can get a guard to go and. There must be guys coming out of there. Could have done with a guard in there, really. Um, let's go back to that. So it's still there. So why can I not click on those? Would be nice to be able to click on that. Um, okay, I've I've managed to not do this very well. So what we really need to do is find out who's who's that is. So let's find a guard. Where's all my guards? There's a guard. There's a guard. Right, you. One, two, three, four. Go here. Now, hopefully, we can then can we then search the toilet can we search that search cell so we'll search the cell and hopefully we'll find something then let's get him on in there get on in 
So hopefully he'll find some stuff in there. They're both having a bit of a look in there. With any luck. I found the fork, found the tool, found the medicine. Excellent. So also I'm guessing he will be he will be handcuffed. Uh, can we tab through and get the prisoner? And we are going to search the prisoner as well. So he's going to be a bit pissed off, he will be. So hopefully he'll be taken away for... So they've not found anything. So they've taken his, taken his stash, but they haven't actually done anything with him. So what's he there? Is he cross? Clothing. He's not actually... Surprisingly, he's not that, not that cross. Right, so let's... Uh, oops, sorry. Too many escapes. Uh, let's have a look again at the contraband. Um, and we'll check the informants now. Oh, suspicion has gone up. So his suspicion has gone up halfway. So I think what we'll do is we'll deactivate that guy because it's no, not worth um, getting anything more out of him because uh, his cover will be blown. Um, and um, from seeing other videos, I believe that when the cover is blown, they beat the hell out of him, uh, possibly to death. We might, we might have a bit of a play about with that in a minute. We maybe uh, we'll let him go down a little bit and then we'll get him to uh, spill some beans again. I don't know where he's off to now. Is he going to work in here or is he just milling about for the sake of it? He's probably safer in there, to be fair. Probably won't have the crap beat out of him. So, uh, I don't know if these guys are going to want to have a chat with him or if they're going to work. <laughs> is that the guy who is... Uh, let's see what happens. So, no, they, they're just going to work. That's all right then. Thank goodness for that, for his sake. <laughs> but what happens when he uh, when he gets back? Who knows? So let's uh, let's speed it up a little bit. Keep an eye on him. See what happens. Where is he gone? Oh, he's gone into here. Okie dokie. He's gonna have a bit of a shower. Probably feels a bit dirty from what he's done. Grass on his uh, co-prisoners and needs to have a bit of a shower. So uh, he should be going back to his. Uh, back to his bunk. Right, while we're there, let's see if there's any, uh, we've got any others that we can call on. Oh, no one else has done anything in here. So, at the moment the uh, suspicion is quite, quite low, so that's good. So we'll, uh, did that go down? I think, it, I think it went down very slightly over that hour. We'll just watch it again when the next hour comes round. I haven't actually watched this suspicion bar yet. Does it, does it go down every hour? Yeah, it goes down. So it, it crept down a little bit. So we could we could re -reacti reactivate him again in a minute. I think we'll do it just to uh, just to show you uh, what what happens. So um, let's uh, let's activate him again. And um, oh, he's out here again now. So he's going to come back and he's going to give us some more information. And uh, unfortunately, he's, <laughs> he's probably going to end up with a crap beat out of him. So. Uh, it's still only got the same information, which is a bit of a shame. But this might be enough to blow him. So we'll um, we'll get this we'll get this guard. Unless we've got any others. Oops, sorry, I need to go back to that. Didn't see which. Should have checked which one it is. So it's one, two, three up from the bottom. So let's go get a let's go get a guard uh, to to check that cell. Let's slow the speed down again. So you're not looking like you're doing very much. One, two, three up from the bottom. I want you to go into there and I want you to search the cell. So hopefully, come on, speed up, get on round. Here we go. All right, hopefully they'll find some stuff. It's only going to be small things. He ought to be finding it. Is it the right one? Yeah, found, oh, found some drugs, excellent. Excellent. So can we... So what's he doing? Is he actually... Is that it? Has he found it? That's all he's done. We'll have a look back at the contraband again and have a look and see whether... So the suspicion's a bit higher now. So what we're also going to do, I think we'll click in here. So click in there. Uh, excuse me, mate. Can you come and have a look in here? Oops. Go and have a look at this. And uh, search the cell. So this will probably blow the old suspicion that is at absolute maximum. So in a minute, once this happens and it's found, he should be blown. So let's see, did they get anything? They did, they found something. Well, that's it. 
So maybe we didn't quite get there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Might have to have a look for another one. Let's have a look at this guy. Uh, how long is he serving his... So he's got a bit of... So he's on lockdown at the moment. Hang on, let's just go back again. Let's escape out of there. Let's just go back to the contraband again. Informants. Uh, so that guy there. So let's let's see if he'd be willing to uh, be recruited. And we'll we'll get him on board, and he can get let out. So back to back to the contraband. So he's only got a little bit of suspicion. So I think we'll deactivate him again now. I think he might get away with it actually, although he's on top whack suspicion. Um, I think he's going to. Oops! I think he's going to get away with it. Where's he going? He's going back through that way again. Seems to find that is the best, most logical route to get through. Through there, he's probably a bit hungry actually. To be fair, probably wants to go and have a bite to eat. So. What we'll do, I think we'll uh, we'll activate this guy here, so he can come back and tell us what he knows. Probably should have checked actually to see whether. Um, so let's have a look at the look at him. How long's he been here? Would have been a good idea to actually see how long he's in for. So he's been here for ten years. So theoretically, he ought to have some good some good info really. But uh, we'll see in a minute whether he's got much. So I'll just go back to the to there. Oh his suspicion's going down and that's it. We're not going to see him get beaten I don't think. Maybe this guy's got a bit more useful information and we can push him to the limit, get his cover blown. So come on, let's have a bit of speed on. Let's get on there. Get in there. Hurry up. <laughs> so right, so he's in there now. So what is what have we got here? Oh some tunnels. Ah, some tunnels on the way. Fantastic. So what we'll do here is we'll... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do those, actually. So what we can do... Um, let's get some... Let's get back to the contraband. Back to there. So what is it? It's the second one from the top. So we want to search that one, that one, and that one. This should be... This should properly blow them, I would imagine. So let's get some staff... So what was it? Second one from the top of those two. I've, I've got such an awful memory, I tell you. So let's find a member of staff, uh, guard. All right, I want you to go to there. I want... Is there another one? You to go to here. Um, we want a... Click on that. Search uh, cell. Click on that. Search cell. Click on that search cell. Back to the contraband. Uh, we'll see if we can push this guy right over. <laughs> That's a bit mean, isn't it? <laughs> so this one here, search cell. This this should pretty well blow him, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll be uh, what we got here. Uh, anything going on over? Nothing thrown in from the outside. Anything going over there? Oh, what's that there? What we got going on there? So we need to search that box then, so um, let's get on that. So search this, search that. Um, so we'll get we'll get the uh, get everything running. Just out of interest, we go back to contraband and check the informants. Ah, so we found those now. So we'll just while we're here. We'll just get on and now those tunnels have been exposed. We will remove the tunnels. Little buggers. There could be some others going on at some point. Right, we'll, uh, we'll carry on with that. Uh, get on with that. Let's go back to the contraband. So he's still only got full suspicious. He's got he had better coverage. But um, he's not given us anything, anything amazing. So what about these ones? Have these been searched or not? So I did ask, I think, for this. Oops. Search cell. Where was the other one? Contraband. This 
one here. So that one there. Search cell. Oh, maybe it's already maybe it's already been found. Maybe I missed it because we were doing the other ones. Oh, it's more tunnels. More tunnels. So oh, let's stop that. <laughs> let's uh, let's remove the tunnels there. Good stuff. He's he's done us proud, hasn't he? He sees he's found some stuff that we wouldn't have found. He's not been blown yet though. He's still still active. So uh, I think that's probably all we're going to get out of him. So ah, so that actually the cells change condition when uh, when you do that. I wonder why that's done that. Okay, so crack on and get those done anyway so materials did that actually work remove tunnels oh yeah maybe that will sort yeah there we go sorting them out now we know the tunnels are there so oh, I need to wait for the guards to come and sort that out excellent stuff all right I left the rubbish in there so our little confidential informers how are they doing well to be fair, I'm quite surprised actually. Having seen the demo, it looked like uh, they could get blown quite easily. But looking here, he's uh, he's active and, and nothing much is going on. So I think we'll deactivate him, let him off, let him go back to the general population, and see what happens. They all go through that route, don't they? I'll wait a while for. Uh, is that because that's a? That's a oh, one death. <gasps> Where was that? Where was the death? Who is dead? Well, let's see, I'm guessing, if we can find... So what was our confidential informants? So, Patrick, there you go. Uh, Dan, sorry, not Patrick. Dan Payton here is now dead so <laughs> he has died and I wouldn't be surprised if um, cover blown look cover blown Patrick Bars is, is also likely to be dead so what we might just do we might get see if we can find a guard I think we'll ask a guard to walk up here because I'm guessing there's a lot of sound it sounds like there's some beatings going on. <laughs> Can't see. Uh, uh, who is that? So there he is. We could have a bit of a riot going on here if we're not careful. Where are they all off to? So, Yoko Smith. And so he hopefully will get taken to the infirmary. that one yeah so they're both going to the infirmary so he's actually survived that but um he probably is going to get a prophecy into <laughs> next time <laughs> but in essence just wanted to show you show you that because uh, I, I thought that was uh, when I saw the demo of that um, I thought that was pretty good so hopefully now um, you can use informants to find um, tunnels and things like that um, and try and reduce the amount of contraband that you've got. I mean, generally, if I look at my last seven days, I've still got loads of it. It's going to be a long, hard process to stop all of this, I'm sure. But, um, you know, it's uh, that's all part of the game. So I hope you've enjoyed this. hope maybe uh, some of you weren't aware of these features and will now go and try them out. Um, f feel free to give me any, any comments back on it and um, maybe join me at the uh, when I do the next video right thanks for watching just a quick update uh, Patrick Bars didn't survive another night he got beaten um, severely and is now dead on the uh, morgue slab so um, just to uh, reiterate use your confidential informants wisely <laughs> and don't abuse them like I just did then okay guys good luck Thanks for watching.